Yep. It's probably going to may, may take a little while. Now, last question I want to. Oh, okay. Totally different from what we saw in Winner's Finals. Wario no we entered the chat. Yep. One, go. Now, this is going to be a completely different, different beast. Uh, much less of a slow, methodical play. And probably going to, yeah, like, look at that. Wario's air mobility is going to be so key. Because it means that he can weave through the air, find those, like, that stray hit that's going to lead to all this damage. I mean, right now, Ray has already incurred he's a death bolon i'm not sure exactly what happened there yeah now it was the other what's interesting what's interesting to me is that um nine super pie has voluntarily um turned down the john numbers power boost that that you get huh. from john numbers and paying for it with his life is nine super pie you don't forsake john numbers <laughs> you don't forsake we fit trainer when john numbers is in the chat do we have John in the chat? We have John in the chat. Oh. John Hi, is Don. here. John Numbers has entered the chat. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, we've had a little bit of a goofy start. Uh, both yes. players taking extremely early stock losses. Um, yep. I'm not. I think that what happened with uh, Ray was an unforced was a uh, was a forced error. And I think that was just like a like an edge guard that came out um, that did super pie in. Now I so one advantage I can think of with the Wario oh. is we've already seen how Ray can at times really struggle to close out stocks. And Wario is one of the scariest characters to be stuck not being able to kill. True, true. Like, because every second, every second you are playing this game, you are playing every single game on a timer. And on a timer. And the then... same, it's not the timer in the top right corner, folks. It is the timer in the middle of Wario's hole. Yeah, and it's like... Right now, 72%, yeah, like they're, you know, one solidly placed Wonder Wing could kill him and everything. But also, yeah. uh, it, he definitely has fully charged WAP, so an up tilt, an up air, like a neutral air might even lead into just yep. a death from Ray. And Super Pi, like, from what I remember, um, last time I saw a Super Pi run, uh, Super Pi is not, like, Super Pi has the, has the WAF concern, has the WAF confirmed on deck. <laughs> so, one thing to say is that Utopian Ray is really solid. Oh, that might be it. Oh, he's wow. managing to avoid it. Um, but also the patience from Super Pi, too, to not, uh, to not swing unnecessarily. Yeah, and there's also going to become a point where, you know, it's going to be a lot harder to combo into the waft. Oh my Off god! Of his From a grenade. grenade! Your tool, my tool. Yeah, that, I agree. That laugh is well yeah. deserved. That. <laughs> wow. wow. Okay. Asserting, asserting dominance here is Nine Super Pi. Forsaking the John Numbers power boost. And then killing Utopian Ray, essentially with his own grenade. Yeah. John, John I mean, numbers in the chat saying, John numbers in the chat saying, wow, okay. So John <laughs> numbers is even okay with this. Unless that was sarcasm. It's always hard to tell with John numbers. John numbers is he, he's John sincere. numbers. You're a difficult man to read. John is always sincere. You, I, you can he's always sincere. John being sincere. Always sincere. Yes. Okay. Ready? That's what he wants you to think. <laughs> the ultimate juke. Three, two, one, go! Alright, I hear Pokemon music. And I see Battlefield. Um... So I got effective. I got. I got fully faked out here. Yeah. So you know, I, I do think that as these sets go on, Ray 
eventually, you know, he starts off with a very low risk play style, and then as he learns the opponent's habits, he starts to, you know, commit to higher, harder reads and all that, you know, getting That's more reward, true. bang for his buck, uh, which is going to be so crucial because as we saw, not being able to kill Super Pi means that you inevitably die. Mm. And the big lesson, the big takeaway from game number one is grenades ain't safe. You don't get the grenade for free. <laughs> wow. That was, I, I love the awareness. Just mm -hmm. being so, you know, mindful. Being able to capitalize as hard as you could. And now, oh. We love seeing mindfulness. Oh, but a good reverse edge guard from Super Pie. That was so smart. He held the yeah. grenade specifically to cover the uh, the lag on Wonder Wing. That, okay, that's exactly what got him killed in the in the last game. That whole drop from ledge, come back on with a uh, with a grenade. So this time around, it seems to be working out better. But that's only because uh, Super Pie isn't being as aggressive on while well, he's the one you know ledge guard. And Super Pie also being really tricky with the motorbike, too. Okay. Uh, in this the situation, if it, it's half waft is still a really powerful move. Yeah, I was just and, about to say, Super Pie, ha Super Pie definitely has half waft, half waft combos and has a, a strong willingness to go for them, as you see right there. Was that half waft or was that full waft? That was definitely half waft. Okay, yeah, you know, got that big screen for it and everything. Yeah, I, the, think, I believe, I, think, I believe I this is still, yeah, I be, uh, this is still the case. I believe that half waft comes out faster than full waft. Yes, but it, it ha so in that, in some regards it's easier to combo, but it has smaller hitbox and it doesn't have the super. Mm -hmm. But also, if you're Ray, it's like ah, that really stinks. But waft is gonna it's gonna be a while before full waft is a factor. It does refresh the, the timer, yeah. Yeah, the, considering the fact that he was kind of struggling to get kills, and Waft was basically, uh, it was really Super Pi's win condition. At the very least, Utopian Ray doesn't have to really worry about that. For for a little bit. Because the thing yeah, is, half Waft like, is actually going to become a factor. Like, I don't think yeah, Full like, Waft is going to, like, Full Waft is not going to win uh, Super Pi the game. If anything, it'll be, like, half Waft being able to, you know, kill him at 80, like where he is right now. Yep. Oh, that's, that's scary. Like, any Wonder Wing is scary against a character like Wario because the Wario, like, does have, like, some pretty serious chase down speed, especially in the air. Does Bite oh, this could be Wonder big. Wing? It's a grab box. Hmm. Whoa! And there it is, the half waft. It's so quick. Raw. Just did it raw. Super Pie, Super, okay, Super Pie wants to, wants to end this, like, now. Super Pie does not want to reset, Super Pie does not even want to come close to a reset. Um, and that's, like, that's a critical game to drop for Utopian Ray. Because that was, like, that was the winnable game. And now, once again, third straight set for Utopian Ray. Back against the I mean, wall he's gone down 2 a, a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, it isn't good. It, it isn't. It isn't a worthwhile story unless he's down 2-0, right? Yeah, you know. Yeah, credit to credit to Utopian Ray for always caring about the narrative. Because commentary is that's all we care about is the narrative. Yeah. Oh, speaking of narrative, uh, has Super Pi ever won a Xeno Wi-Fi before? No. He's never won a suit. Uh, and Ray has. It's been a long time since he's competed, right? Yes. First so, time we've seen Ray at a Xeno Wi Fi in a while. So, glad yeah, to have so him. honestly, there's a lot for both of these players. 
you know, somebody entering, you know, the Pantheon for the first time versus somebody making the comeback, you know, stepping, oh, yeah. you know, out of the jungle after after disappearing into the shadows, wants to make a statement on their return. So Utopian Ray, even though he's down 2-0, he is not going to just give up. He wants to he, he wants to recreate what he's been able to do in the past. Yeah. And like clearly no stranger to making comebacks as we've seen just like just recently tonight. And you could you could even call like winners finals a bit of a comeback from Utopian Ray, like not able to finish the job, but to come back from down from 2-0 is a tall task. Like yeah, even just I'm wrong. he was down 2-0 in losers as well, right? Yeah. Yeah, if you're Super Pi, you must respect him. Oh, okay. saves his okay. jump. We keep, we keep our jumps. That is right. That's also, what I like to see. I like the fact that Utopian Ray went deep for that edge guard because he he realized that the bike was on stage. So mm, one of Warrior's yeah, most yeah, yeah, yeah. crucial, his one of his most crucial recovery mix-ups, he didn't have access to it. And so Utopian Ray normally, you know, you don't want to challenge Wario off stage. The you know That's... risk reward isn't that great. Oh, oh my that god, so what, a, what a turnaround. But that's that veteran awareness that we talk about from Utopian Ray. And but also like the the, um, the hair trigger to like recognize the whiff on the waft and just go up there and take the stock because you know that you have the frames to do it. Now, Super Pipe playing from behind. Um, we talked. We talked uh, ad, ad nauseum about how good Banjo is playing from ahead. That that side B, the grenades, the damage just piles on so quickly. The neutral B does like five percent per, per hit, which is insane. That's a little off the ledge there. Utopian Ray, super comfortable lead at the moment, but and and the fact that that wafts got burned pretty early is also maybe a little bit of a relief to Utopian Ray, but you cannot be too careful. Whoa. Right now, maybe he can be a little bit less careful. This is a oh, you know, yeah, because he like, uh, I mean, you want to use up your uh, at this point, like at 182, you might as well use up the Wonder Wings, but you have them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, great mash out. Uh, probably, I think it was SDI down in order to get out of the uh, yeah. finisher of that jab combo. Two oh one, it's like a a a, uh, a master class in uh, holding on to like a, ma a master class in extra credit from uh, from Utopian right here. And credit oh, to Superfly, really still big. fighting. Oh, that's, that's, that probably reduce, like, that probably eliminates, like, any, yeah. like, a comeback X Factor that Superfly might have here. Yeah, his, his win condition pretty much got used up, and now if he wants to... It, uh, you know, it, it, it wafted it out into thin air. Uh, I love. I will say I love Banjo's full run animation. I kind of never get to see it really. Oh uh, yeah. Th th well, no, like the fact that he gets on Kazooie. Yeah, exactly. Well, that that was that was my Kazooie impression. Oh, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I actually thought that was from uh, Devin's soundboard. Oh wow. I'm. I I appreciate the compliment. I don't know if that was a compliment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think it's a damn good compliment. Yeah! <laughs> God damn it! Devin, you son of a bitch! You know, we did oh, say, man. oh, it's pretty much out of reach for uh, Super Pie, but if he takes this uh, yeah. shot, if he does. He doesn't half have to have back waft. on deck. Oh my god. Full waft is also only about a minute away. Oh my god. Oh no! 
No way. Oh my god, Super Pi, you're not... Super Pi, you can't be serious. Oh, the escape options. Utopian Ray knows that even though there's 200% percent Oh god, right. and he just got socked in the face. Once again, the jump read is what helps uh, Utopian Ray close out that stock. He teleported to All the right. blast zone there. Like, the percent was so... Uh, are, are you guys hearing my cat? No! Damn. Okay. No. Give it, give it time. I wish. Give it time. <laughs> I thought, a cat, I thought that was Devin's soundboard. Ah ha 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 ha. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's. I need, I need a crowd laughing uh, SFX. Surprised that I don't. You say, you say, you say you don't, you have that whole ass soundboard. You don't have a crowd laughing? Yeah. It, it, I don't think there's one in DK64. <laughs> Hold on. I just had like a memory injection flashback to like a Wheel of Fortune game. And when you won, the announcer goes, and the crowd goes wild. And everyone goes, yay. Did anybody else? <laughs> did everyone else? Is this like something that I and only I Thank ever you, experienced? Thank you, Monel, for the 18 I month subscription. Yeah. Game Let's four. Let's go. Summoned by Wario. The siren song of Wario. I mean, like, look at him. Look at him. Who wouldn't, like, who wouldn't want to go near closer to that? Utopian Ray really, really cooked him with gas here. Uh, although, uh, landing against Wario, always kind of a scary proposition. Oh, oh, that almost was terrible for him. To end grenade exploding. But now we have relatively even game. Although, honestly, I feel like Utopian Ray needs a buffer. <laughs> he needs a little bit more space between him and. Uh... A buffer? But we're playing on. Oh my god, wow. <laughs> we don't need more of a buffer. I see where you're coming from there. Yeah. But like, because even even last game, Utopian Ray was up by a full stock, and it yeah. came down to the wire because of Waft as a factor. Well, and and like uh, that's not that's pretty similar to what we saw in Winners Finals with Super, by playing Weepa Trainer. Um, and like Super Pie is. Very, very good at playing around his character's X factors in order to make comebacks happen. Like, really, really good. I mean, like, a, a more concise way is just, just call it clutch. All right, and now I think that's half whopped on deck. Because, like, every time Wario eats something, I, that that affects the whop timer. I do believe. Yes, and yes, I believe it does. Just Chomping down on someone also it uh, helps expedite the gas. Yeah. Oh, the movement's <gasps> Look scary. at this movement! Utopian Ray being so tricky around these platforms, able to do all of this damage and. And Utopian Ray actually like you think about Banjo as kind of like a slower pace controlled character, but U Utopian Ray's really being the one that's taking the fight to Super Pi in this game number four. Well, I mean, I feel like part of that is he's comfortable doing so. Like, yeah, su uh, Super Pi hasn't made him feel like he can't. Great spacing in order to. <gasps> he's oh, alive. No, he's not. He no, lost his he's air dodge. Not. Oh my god! And now, oh my is god! And now, waft looming, looming waft sounds in the distance. <laughs> the, the wafting waft intensifies. <laughs> wafting stirs behind you. <laughs> da -da. Da -da, da -da. I, in my head, da -da. it's that, but with fart noises. Uh, yeah. exactly. <laughs> a ha it's a half step farts. You don't have to do it. We all know what it sounds oh, like. Oh, in oh our come minds. on! You come. You can't put that idea in my head and say like, don't actually do it. <laughs> you, you say. I mean, you're saying, I I didn't want to do it. That's, you're that's gonna you're gonna put to. you're gonna put you're gonna oh, oh. whoa. Was All right, I'm not, I'm not even going to finish my Jaws of Fart Noises joke because I got so scared by that uh, jab reset. Yeah, even after that unfortunate S. Whoa, that grab, though! Have... 
Drag down air grab. And now, okay. Super Pai really needs to find something here. That's oh, what he oh, needed oh. to find. There it is. As if on cue. As if on cue, Super Pai farting his way into victory. Um, and that is going to be Super Pai. Not by taking a Xeno Wi-Fi number 43 over Utopian Ray with a score of three to one. And that's and that's his first time winning one of these brackets. So real congratulations to him. And good stuff to everyone who competed. Like Zane had what a nutty loser's run. Yeah. Uh, getting knocked into losers uh super early, making it all the way to losers finals and only dropping to game five against Utopian Ray. And then Ray coming back and showing that he is still, you know, the, the scary guy who we've known him to be. And, uh, yeah, we, ha we have a new champion being crowned with Super That's Pie. That's right. Super Pie is here, and he is super. Um, and, I, the, you know, like, uh, the other thing I love is that, like, showcasing really, ma like, very, very real mastery over two different characters. Like, um, Super Pie could have opted for the Wii Fit Trainer here in Grants. And just, just like, I, when it went to... Um, like went to the Wario instead and said like I can beat with two characters and it was even in even more dominating fashion um the even even when like all the chips were on the table and uh Utopian Ray was like looking to make make a comeback because we saw Utopian Ray do it we saw Utopian Ray almost do it in winners finals we saw Utopian Ray do it in losers finals and it and you like you got this thought in the back of your mind like wait are the added, is the download coming through? Is the download complete here? Like, is Utopian Ray gonna pull this to a game five? And then maybe, you know, anything can happen from there. Yeah, but, I, so I do think 